Till now, we discussed about what is uniform circular motion, what is centripetal force, how the different types of forces are working like centripetal forces. Now, we are going to the heart of this chapter, that is universal law of gravitation. It was the very famous law given by the Isaac Newton. Using that law, we, today we are understanding that how the planets are revolving around the sun, how the satellites are revolving around the planets, how the artificial satellites we can move around the earth, our planet. So, let me explain you about the universal law of gravitation and I will go into derive a formula for that. Universal law of gravitation. According to this, Isaac Newton told that if you take any two massive bodies, M1, M2, two massive bodies, any two massive bodies, smaller body or larger body, two massive bodies you take. Then this massive body attracts this body towards it. Say this is F12, attraction force by mass 1 on M2. Similarly, M2 is also applies attraction force F21, force by 2 on 1. And these attraction forces are called gravitational forces. And these attraction forces are equal and opposite. The amount of force we are experienced by the earth, the amount of force the earth is also experienced by us when you are standing stable on the surface of the earth. That's why we are stable on the surface of the earth. If not, we should be pulled into the center of the earth. So these two gravitational forces are equal and opposite. Now what will happen? How will, how will you derive the formula for force of gravitation. Take a case study. This is earth. Around the earth in circular path the moon is rotating. It's a moon. It's a, this is the distance. Rm is the radius of the circular path of the moon or you can say it is the distance from earth to the moon. Okay. Now, this moon, this is the velocity and it is moving in the circular path like this. So, <clears throat> here, first, first point, we will find out the what is the acceleration of the moon when it is rotating in the circular path. Because we know the acceleration due to gravity by the earth. So, first we find the acceleration of the moon in the circular path. So, as in circular path, the acceleration is called centripetal acceleration and centripetal acceleration formula is V square by R and here R is nothing but Rm. But we know that V equal to 2 pi R by T. So therefore, R means again Rm. So substitute V formula here, then AC equals to 2 pi Rm by t whole square into 1 by rm. You understand? So, I substituted this expression in v square. You got like this. Now, what will happen? 4 pi square rm square by m. So, you will get rm by t. So, ac equal to 4 pi square rm by t. This is centripetal acceleration of the moon. I will write here centripetal acceleration of the moon around the earth. So to solve this value for, value for this, you should know the radius of the moon means radius of the moon's path and t is the time period taken by the moon to complete one revolution and we have constant values for that and those values are Rm equals to 3.8 844 4 into 10 power 10 centimeters and t equals to 27.3 days or 2.35 into 10 power 6 seconds. 
So when you substitute these two values in this expression and simplify it, then you'll get AC equals to 0 0.27 centimeters per second square. So this is the centripetal acceleration of the moon around the earth. Next, we know that acceleration due to gravity, AG, of course the symbol is G, here we are taking AG. And what is the G value? In the previous classes we understand that G value is 9.8 meters per second square or 980 centimeters per second square. So take 980 or 981, both are correct. So 981 centimeters per second square. We take the ratio of acceleration due to gravity to the moon. You see it is G by AC, which is equals to 981 by 0 0.27. And the value what you get 36. 40, approximately 36400 value. So this is AG by AC. Equation 1. Next. Radius of the moon or radius of the moon is nothing but radius of the circular path of the moon by radius of the earth RM by RD equals to 384-4400 by 6371 and we get 60.3 approximately. Now you square it Rm by Re square it then we will get approximately 3640 equation 2. So if you see these two expressions equation 1 equation 2 Rm is the distance of the moon from the earth Re is the radius of the earth. And if you simplify it, you got to understand that equation 1 equal to equation 2. So, implies AG by AC is equals to REM by RE whole square. Means acceleration because due to gravity, I mean due to earth by acceleration of the moon is equals to distance of the moon from the earth to the radius of the earth. So this says that acceleration because of earth is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth. So implies I can say A is inversely proportional to 1 by r square. AG by AC acceleration because of earth to the acceleration because of centripetal force which is the acceleration of the moon equal to square of this radius ratio. And it, it from this expression understand that acceleration because of earth is inversely proportional to the radius of the earth which is squared. So therefore, acceleration because of earth is inversely proportional to square of the radius of the earth. So A is proportional to 1 by R square. Newton's second law. F equal to MA. You know that. That means F is directly proportional to A when mass is constant. Then I can say F is directly proportional to 1 by R square. And this is equation expression 3. It says that force is inversely proportional to square of the radius. Means when the radius increases, force decreases. And when the radius decreases, force increases. It is correct. When you are moving away from the earth, more and more distance if you move away from the earth in vertical direction the gravity or the gravitational force of the earth on you decreases. The one expression you understand. Next. As we know that A proportional 1 by R square we can say that A equal to K by R square where K equal to constant. So remove the proportionality I have taken some constant K. And from the expression of Newton's second law, F equal to MA, I can write F equal to M into K by R square. Where M is the mass of the moon. Say, this is mass of the moon. 
when i when i substitute when i representing small m is the mass of the moon i will represent capital m is the mass of the earth massive body compared to the moon okay when f equal to mk by r square then i can say that f dash equals to capital m k by r square so this is the force on the moon because m is the mass of the moon this is the force on the earth because capital m is the mass of the earth i told in the previously that how much of force moon applying on the earth the same amount of force earth is also applying on the moon that's why both gravitational forces by both of them are equal now this f equal to f dash when when k equals to g capital m or when k equals to g small m you get a confusion that you get a surprising thing that why i'm applying these values here within another one minute you can understand this so if you, if you say k equal to gm or k equal to gm then you can make this f equal to f dash how see in this f i'm writing this k value so i can write small m into capital g capital m by r square and here f dash equal to this gm i'm writing capital m g small m by r square now see the both expressions both expressions are same so then you can say that f equal to f dash and hence and hence we can say f equal to g capital m small m by r square is called expression for universal law of gravitation we understand that f equal to g capital m by g capital m small m by r square is the formula for universal law of gravitation and in that what is g capital g capital g is called universal constant and the g value given by isaac newton it is called universal constant because wherever you go in the universe it has a fixed value and the value given by isaac newton and the value is 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 11 newton the unit i'm writing newton meter square by kg square how do you write this unit see here from this expression find g formula g formula is f r square by capital m small m f r square means newton meter square by capital m small m kg into kg kg square so this is the g value so after understanding the big expressions explanation now we make it little simple for you if you take two bodies of mass capital m and small m which is having a distance r between them then the force of gravitation between them is directly proportional to magnitudes of the masses capital m small m and it is inversely proportional to square of the radius between them a square of the distance between them now if you take the two expressions you will say that f proportional to capital m small m by r square implies to remove the proportionality we use constant capital g small m capital m by r square so this is what called universal law of gravitation and its unit is newton so before this i have given big derivation to you to explain how we reach to that formula and if you want to make it short you can explain like this also